Hello. Uh, we have a full moon and lunar eclipse coming tomorrow, April 15th. Uh, I didn't check tax day, just in time for tax day. Um, I didn't check the exact time of it, but uh, it's a doozy. It's a big one. The, uh, the aspects made to the sun and moon themselves are, are not as difficult as a general aspect made by almost all of the planets, which is... Um, dynamic. Sometimes, uh, as you can guess from the way that I said that, sometimes dynamic can be something of a euphemism for hard or difficult, challenging. But in this particular instance, it is actually very dynamic. And uh, although it may be difficult and challenging, uh, it may also be that the particular aspects presenting themselves right now give you just the push to take advantage and to make you take advantage of your own inherent talents and abilities and of the opportunities that are presenting themselves to you. Uh, at the time of the full moon lunar eclipse, Saturn is unaspected by any major aspect. So that means that uh, for all of us, hard work is a necessity. And there can be a tendency, too, to be a little bit harsh or disciplinarian with ourselves, which we really have to avoid. That's not going to help anything. It's true that um, there can be a lesson in here right now inherent in what's happening, but I mean, like, you don't have to drive it home to yourself. The lesson will happen, and it'll happen a lot easier if you go slowly and carefully, because the tendency will be not to do that, to feel anger or pressure or pushed or exhausted or, or uh, any of a number of... Um, ways of feeling that cloud your judgment uh, because you feel that you have no options or that um, that circumstances are forcing you into undesirable or difficult uh, choices uh, that is not there may be some truth to that but there's but there's a way there's definitely a way around it and these aspects do exist to help you force you to find your way through. It's also important to recognize that it really truly can be dynamic, a time when you are forced to be active or energetic and in which you also have to be careful to take care of yourself or you become exhausted and unable to move forward. Um, last time I mentioned how all of this, you know, all of this just words and um, all of it is, it's all part of what the, the mind is always telling you, some story, day and night, this is good, this is bad. In my work, it's very important, In my, I notice in my work with clients and when you look at any sort of divination or astrology or anything like that, uh, the, there's the tendency to focus on the negative and to see it negatively. Um, in the mind, those forces, the forces that frame your experience positively, and constructively, and the forces that frame it destructively, are constantly battling each other. They're always kind of, you know, trying to get their, getting the upper hand on the other. While, you know, the ultimate uh, goal is to still the mind, both the, both the forces in the mind that tell you positive stories and the forces in the mind that tell you negative stories. The negative stories are, um, it's kind of important to quiet those first so that you can, so that you have the enthusiasm and the necessary energy to move forward, to feel positively and move forward in the direction of just generally having a kind of peaceful calm, finding that calm still place within to go forward. So at this time, as your mind w may tell you, may want to tell you a very harsh and judgmental story about what's going on, it is important to change that, to transform that into a different kind of story, a useful story, a story about some uh, an opportunity, no matter how difficult, uh, a challenge, but something that there is help and support for. And even I think sometimes it's important to uh, tell God or whatever divine force you believe in or are not sure if you believe in that uh, he, she, or it damn well better help you out of this one. <laughs> Good luck with that. And uh, it should work given the few positive aspects that there are. And I look forward to talking to you next time.